discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. My name is Dr. Elias Ambitas, and uh, I'm uh, um, on the faculty at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and an associate professor of oncology and pediatrics. So um, I'm a physician scientist, and what I do is I, I care for children who suffer life-threatening disorders of the um, blood and immune system. Um, my area of clinical expertise is in um, stem cell transplantation of uh, sick children and young adults who have various um, genetic blood disorders. And I'm also the principal investigator of a laboratory that searches for stem cell cures for uh, these diseases uh, which remain incurable. Hi, my name's Aaron and my son is Jackson and he was diagnosed with severe combined immune deficiency. So Jackson was diagnosed within pretty much a week of being born. I knew something was wrong and I'm um, sorry. So I had a paper and I started reading through it. And of course, as a mom and a parent, you go right to, how are we gonna fix this? And I just saw bone marrow transplant and I didn't hear anything else during that doctor's visit. Jackson was one of several patients that I've transplanted that have these and other types of immune deficiencies. But the unique thing about Jackson is um, these kinds of patients get transplanted when they're babies. So usually within the first three to four months of life. If I didn't have patients like Jackson to inspire me and to make me think about how to solve problems that are currently unsolvable, I don't think I would be as effective. And uh, I've been, I've been uh, very uh, lucky to have been funded by the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund since I came onto the faculty at Johns Hopkins um, to work with uh, a special kind of human stem cell. These new kinds of stem cells called pluripotent stem cells can regenerate any kind of tissue, any kind of tissue. And this is what's really exciting because what I see in my practice as a bone marrow transplant doctor, I, I can easily envision translating exactly to these futures of tomorrow with these stem cells that can make any part of the body. So what I mean is not just the blood, but the heart, the brain, the pancreas, uh, the kidney. What we're doing to treat Jackson can enlighten us and can instruct us and inform us of treating diseases that are not of the blood. So all the stuff that Jackson got so the, you know these reduced intensity regimens and some of the medicines that we use to make Jackson's transplant easy and safe, I think in the future will, are going to help for the future patients that may need a kidney transplant or a heart transplant or a, you know a, a neural transplant. So that's the future, and pluripotent stem cells offer that reality. I've recently spoken to Dr. Zambitis and we went over some things on how Jackson's situation has already impacted other children's lives. And because of the protocol that was presented by Dr. Zambitis and what they did, and I found out it was a new protocol down the line, um, he has set the record on successfully transplanting other children as of now. Uh, two of them so far. So yeah. I'm just glad that, that Jackson was able to help other ones. And I just wanted to thank Johns Hopkins in general for doing everything they possibly could do, all the nurses, all the staff, everyone, and to help our family. Aww. I love you. We do research and we take care of patients and it's, it's all one comprehensive um, taking care of patients and finding new cures. It all goes together and, and uh, the MSCRF understands that and, and, and helps support uh, physicians like myself to do that. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.